Hey everyone, Sivetic Fit here, and today is a pretty cool day because we actually get to talk about Unfiltered Audio's latest VST plugin called uh, Silo. Now, this has been under wraps for uh, quite a while now. I think I've been playing with this for about two months as part of the Unfiltered Audio beta team, so I've had quite a bit of time with this plugin. And it's been really hard to not talk about it, to be honest, because it's a really cool thing. And if you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen a few little sneaky snippets here and there of, uh, of Silo in action. And uh, now we can t finally talk a little bit about it, which is uh, very exciting. Um, because this is a pretty complex thing, it's unfiltered audio, they always make pretty crazy stuff. I've decided to make this a small little video series. Well, small. It is pretty large, um, but still you can pick and choose whatever content you want because I've divided it into uh, sections uh, so you can pick whatever you find interesting. This video primarily will be just a short overview, who is it for, what does it do. If you want an in-depth uh, breakdown of the controls and the functions, you can skip right on to uh, well, what I would call part one. I will call this part zero, I think. I'll call the next one part one, which is the technical breakdown where we go into all the features and all the knobs and sliders and things. Uh, in the video after that, I will show you some of the basic functionalities, the more uh, simplistic ways you can use it. And in the video after that, we will get into it some um, more maybe niche applications and some more granular stuff which might be very interesting. I'm not 100% sure I can get that video up today. It might be up in one or two days. So if you want to know more about that, stick around. It will be there very soon. So for this video, just what is Silo? Uh, Silo is a combination of a granular effect and a reverb effect. Uh, even though Plugin Alliance does state it's a reverb type, I would say it's very much a hybrid and it will, for that reason, please both camps. If you're just looking for a reverb, I'm not 100% sure this will be DVST for you. You might prefer something like Biome and Triad and use the reverb units in that uh, because there is some overlap. This plugin does use a bunch of the same reverbs and a few new ones. Um, but the, the headlining feature is the granular engine, which really does do a lot of cool stuff, which you will see in the upcoming videos, if you stick along. Um, so for primary uses, who is this made for? Who needs a granular type effect? I would say the obvious people are people that are into glitchy stuff. So if you're into glitch music, uh, noise, ambience as well, definitely a good contender. Uh, drone music would definitely benefit from some grainy textures. But I think you can stretch it even further. I would say if you enjoy texture in your music, if you like the, the little glitches and the interesting weirdness, um, yeah, you can definitely apply this to some other genres as well. Uh, I really found it very useful for shoegaze. cool Mm -hmm. 
post-rock guitar. Works very well as well. And you can use it on synthesizers, uh, lead sounds. It works really well to add some stereo width and texture to lead sounds. And it works really well on big pads to add uh, more variations and glitchiness and un unpredictable textures to your pads, which I find very cool. If you want to push it a little further, you can throw it on drums, create glitch drums. You can uh, completely beat mangle things if that's your style. Uh, if that's something you're interested in, I would highly recommend keeping an eye out for Tom Avatar's uh, upcoming video game slash music album. Uh, Square Paper City it's called. It's made mostly with uh, Silo for the glitch effects. I will link it in the video description. It's only a teaser right now, but if you listen to the soundtrack and you're like, oh, that's totally my jam, that's Silo. Definitely check that out. Actually, I'll ask him if I can just throw in a little bit of that in the end of this video. That might be cool. People who might not be interested in this plugin, it's probably going to be mostly uh, rock music, I might find it hard. Rock, jazz, more classical types of music. I think it is more aimed towards electronic music. But of course, if you're creative, you can definitely find a use for it. So, yeah, very, very exciting to see a new plugin by Unfilled Audio, of course. And uh, I hope you will join me on this journey where we will break down this plugin, cover all the features in part one go into some examples of sound in part two and three. And maybe if there are any questions, I can make a follow-up part four where we will dive into questions about this VST and maybe we can get some answers. I can at least ask the devs if there are any things that are uncertain. So that uh, <laughs> is helpful. So yeah, uh, new cool plugin, sound bits, right after this very awkward outro let's let's keep it at that all right have a great night or day who knows <laughs>